What an incredible duel it was. Arizona State, the victor. Darren Sutton, Blake Neiman, when you have a wrestling match like this, my words aren't needed. The expert Blakes are needed. Blake, walk us through this incredible back and forth. An incredible top 25 duel in the desert indeed, and it started in a great one. A sudden victory match at 125 between Richard Figueroa and Nico Provo. Nico Provo able to use that upper body strength of his to climb back into the match. Figueroa had some good early shots, but it came down to overtime. Figueroa used his attacks, but it came back to cost him as Provo gets the win in OT. How about 133? Julian Klebo, a no-go. Carter Diver jumped out to a 7-1 to one lead, but then it was Dom LeJoy of Stanford able to come back and put together some great attacks, some good turns on top, and able to run away with the victory for the Cardinal. At 141, Jesse Vasquez back, a crucial piece of this lineup for ASU, and is able to make a great statement in his return, gets on a, a good takedown and a difference-making victory that set the tone for the rest of this duel and what ended up being three in a row for the Sun Devils as it moved to 149 and what was going to be one of the premier matches of the day, Kyle Parco and Jaden Abbas. Abbas, the reigning uh, Pac-12 Wrestler of the Week, but Parco just on another level. There's a reason why he's the number four wrestler in the country. How about 157? A climactic action. So much back and forth between these two wrestlers. This was a great one, but Corey Teamer able to use that experience of his to get a great shot to go up early in the match. Daniel Cardenas made it interesting in the middle, but then when it was money on the line, Eye of the Tiger, Ja'Cory Teamer blasting through the hips and able to secure the victory for ASU to make it three in a row for the Sun Devils. But then we went to 165 and things got a little bit interesting here as a 1-1, very close defensive match. It looks like Hunter Garvin got the takedown at the buzzer initially, but after further review, we would go to overtime. And there we saw the far side ankle pick and Garvin able to pick up the win in overtime and defend that crown at 174 Kyle Valencia back wrestling at 174 but it was Ty Montero who was able to roll through and get the victory some controversy in that match as well but the Cardinal came out on top two wins in a row for Stanford at 184 Tony Negron trying to get the Sun Devils back in the right direction and he did just that wrestling strong on the edge a crucial takedown as he climbed the body ended up being the difference maker in that match at 197 here's was the most interesting interesting part that made this duel so climactic at the end. It was Nick Stement versus Damian Schunke being penciled into the lineup. Stement, a top 20 wrestler in the country, and he dominated to a tech fall victory, which made it a five point lead for the Cardinal, heading into the heavyweight bat, bout which made set up a pin it to win it type match for Colton Schultz. Duel on the line. He's one of the best in the world for a reason. He got the hook under and did the cement mixer to be able to cap off the duel for ASU and able to secure the pin for the win and snap the Cardinals five dual win streak and move ASU to now three dual wins in a row. I told you folks he was an expert. That was a recap. Incredible job, Blake, walking it through us. We're, we're glad you had us sitting by your side the entire time. ASU has won five of six in this rivalry. They've won now four of five this year. On behalf of Blake, I'm Darren. You have been updated.